It's something of an unspoken agreement amongst gamers that when video game movies are announced, the expectations for those movies are not going to be high. This sentiment is especially so when a game has a live action movie announced for it, inviting all sorts of potential avenues for ridicule. Video games often incorporate all sorts of fantastic things that aren't easily expressed in grounded live action movies, and CG edits may feel out of place or awkward if not well executed. Will the actress enlisted turn in a good job? Will they understand the source material or care about it at all? Will the movie itself show enough respect for the source material, display a sense of competency and understanding what a particular game is about? We see the potential for ridicule in how the 1993 Super Mario Bros. movie turned out, and it remains to be seen what the Monster Hunter movie currently in development will look like. On that note, is there a Monster Hunter game with soldiers and guns in it? The potential issues abound, and they certainly seem to have manifested with the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which was recently announced to be pushed back to a February 14th, 2020 release. The decision to push back the release until 2020 is being attributed to Sonic's design and the need to fix it, per director Jeff Fowler. By the way, Fowler conducts himself in handling the inundation of negative feedback regarding the movie, in any aspect, and he seems to be earnestly trying to make the best movie possible. When it was first announced that the design for Sonic would be revamped, many of those following the movie voiced concerns about how the visual effects artist would be able to make the previously planned film release date of November 8th, 2019, which had itself actually been moved up from another previous release date of November 15th. It's one thing to promise to fix the design of a character as a gesture of goodwill, but what about the heavy work required to make such a drastic overhaul, especially for the main character of the film? It would take nothing short of a Herculean and probably soul-crushing level of overtime in order to make that happen. Even then, your mileage may vary about whether or not three months is enough of a delay anyway. So a live-action Sonic the Hedgehog movie has been in the planning stages for several years, but it was through a February 2018 press release that more news about the progress of the movie materialized publicly. Jeff Fowler himself was hired as a director in 2016, and during this year other essential personnel such as screenplay writers and executive producers were determined. The first promotional trailer for the movie was released less than a month ago on April 30th, a trailer that many must have been on edge for, hoping for the best. For positive reception, a lot of things had to go right. The look of Sonic, his personality, the right tone in general for the movie, the portrayal of the villain Dr. Eggman. It was all a great challenge, but in media circles it was frequently the look of the character that many railed against. It doesn't match up against Sonic's design. One could say that the live action movie design is inspired by Sonic rather than Sonic himself. Instead of wearing gloves, which he's always worn, Sonic has white fur on his hands and ending at his wrists. Sonic's human teeth simply look incredibly awkward, a design choice that didn't have to be made. His ears are noticeably smaller than they're often depicted, and in some promotional images, his pupils take up more of his eyes than they do in the official game artwork. In some promotional media, he also comes across as too tall. While Sonic's legs are long in more recent games, an important part of the design of Sonic is not just that he's a fast runner, but the length of his hair should accentuate how fast he runs as it follows him, while also adding to the feeling of circularness to Sonic. Sonic's been curling into a ball when he jumps since the first game, and spin dashing since the second, and using the homing attack since his days on the Dreamcast, and so forth. Lastly, his shoes, simple enough in design, don't at all match what they look like in the official artwork depicting the character. Since his feet and shoes are small, the redness of his feet are less able to be seen when he runs around, in contrast to the rest of his blue body. What will change, besides giving the character gloves, remains to be seen later through a new set of promotional media that'll be released for the character, but those hoping for the design of Sonic the Hedgehog that closely resembles how he's been depicted in the games would have a fair amount of issues to point at, as we've mentioned. There are other aspects of the trailer that audiences want to evaluate besides Sonic's design, though. One of the brighter spots of the trailer would seem to be the depiction of Dr. Eggman, whose over-the-top portrayal by Jim Carrey seems to have gone over fairly well. Sonic is supposed to convey a lackadaisical, devil-may-care attitude, and it's this sort of personality that rubs Eggman the wrong way as Sonic's defiance, abilities, and help from his friends constantly thwart Eggman's ego and plans. While the execution of Sonic's personality is arguably hit and miss, it seems that the writers had a general idea of what Sonic was supposed to be, even if some of his quips didn't land like they're supposed to. How does Sonic stare at someone from such a short distance and then get hit with a tranquilizer dart? In any case, we have a lot to look forward to in seeing what the new version of Sonic looks like for the movie, and the anticipation for that will be just as it was for the release of the first promotional trailer. Trailer. When the trailer was released, it drew tense reactions from a handful of iconic gaming development personalities associated with Sonic the Hedgehog, including Yuji Naka, Naoto Oshima, and Hirozaku Yasuhura, all associated with Sonic's early games. And considering how amongst these statements we see congratulations to Sega and Paramount for moving forward on changing the design, congratulations to fans for affecting change, and open apprehension about the design itself to say the least. The pressure is on. 
The trailer on YouTube currently stands at more than 31 million views, and for those unaware of the Sonic fanbase, how could you not be if you follow games, they have a reputation for closely following and analyzing most all aspects of any media surrounding the franchise. They are vocal, die-hard fans and mysteriously managed to cross generations, including fans that have been around since the Genesis days and fans that have become attached to the franchise during more recent games, whether they be Sonic Mania or Sonic Generations or the Adventure Games. Maybe they even began following Sonic through the Sonic X anime, or through the Sonic Boom multimedia franchise when it existed for a time. Suffice to say, the Sonic fanbase is one of the most intense fanbases in all of gaming. So what do you think about the original design suggested by the April 30th trailer? Is it that bad? Do you have any plans on seeing the movie? How do you feel about the movie? Opinions on Sonic's design aside. On a separate note, we see that the design of the live-action version of Sonic is going to be changed and that it's going to be the reason for the three-month delay for the movie's release. Do you think it is the fans that made this change happen, or do you think it was the negative commentary in media, both in gaming and the non-gaming media? Though, if you're making this movie, you absolutely want the fans on your side. Who is going to fill the seats in theaters after all? These fans will be significantly responsible for spreading impressions of the movie to others, so let us know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching. And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily. Also, don't forget to switch on the bell notification icon, that way you don't miss out on any of our videos.